America, I have a few simple beliefs. I believe the Cincinnati Bengals will one day win the Super Bowl. I believe the first date should be Dutch and each of you should bring your ex along as a bullshit detector. I believe popcorn and orange Tic Tacs are perfect foods. I believe Prince was actually just Jesus feeling frisky and making great music for a few decades. And I believe that even Satan is watching us almost let Donald Trump waltz into the White House and saying, what the fuck, people? America has been a great laugh, but enough is enough. I'm not saying you have to vote for Hillary Crazy Horse Clinton, but I am saying you cannot allow corporate Hitler with the Kung Fu come over into the Oval Office. Reasons. Reasons you can't vote for Donald Trump. His name is Donald. No offense to any Donald in the room, but unless you have white feathers, a sailor's uniform, nephews named Huey, Dewey, and Louie, an uncle named Scrooge, and a boo named Daisy, you cannot be a Donald that commands this nation's respect. We all have that crazy uncle who drinks too much at Thanksgiving dinner, then wants to tell the story of how he almost could have had your mom, thinks your sister's hot for a 14-year-old, and then falls asleep in front of the TV after yelling at it for two hours with the game was on, but we don't let him run for political office. Trump's solution to immigration reform isn't to build a wall, it's to build a bigger wall. He compares being gay to playing golf with a long putter, said our president wasn't a citizen when he is the one with the fake last name, Trump. Says Mexico isn't sending us its best, just the low lives and rapists, and that if he weren't happily married, he'd be all over his own daughter, ooh. Okay, wait. In case you thought this was a rant about Donald Trump or to him, it's not. It's a rant to you. Note to Mr. and Mrs. They took our jobs. No one took your job. Someone applied for a job. You sat and saw if some idiot was or wasn't the father on Maury and missed your interview. Mr. I want things to go back to the way they were as in the good old days. Pause. Do you mean the Jim Crow old days or the cross burning old days? The internment camps on American soil old days? The nuclear war old days? Polio crack epidemic old days? As a wise man once said, shut up. Miss women need to know their place to keep their butts at home and let men be men. I'd explain to you how that's kind of sort of how we got ourselves in this mess to begin with, but I'm too busy watching Taylor Swift, Beyonce, and Michelle Obama show an entire generation of young ladies that women can rock without the help of a man, so fuck off. Mr. and Mrs., it's called Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. You believe the entire cosmos was made in seven days by some old white-haired Sons of Anarchy charter member who got a virgin pregnant on her wedding night without touching her, sold out his own son, literally left him hanging, and then brought him back after three days, which we now celebrate by saying a chocolate bunny laid hard-boiled eggs and marshmallow baby chickens, but you can't believe it's okay for two people to choose to love one another. I get it. The media preys on your fear, but a great man once said, free your mind and your ass will follow America. It's not too late. I don't care who you vote for as long as you vote with an eye towards the future, not stuck on what the media tells you to do. To quote Trump himself, one of the key problems today is that politics is such a disgrace. Good people don't go into government. Mr. Trump, I couldn't have said it better myself. Ed Mabry.